Hello. Yes, this is our update for the Ozempic pen and my gastric sleeve. So I, I don't know. I kind of feel like I plateaued a little bit. I, I haven't gained any weight, but I'm still kind of stuck at like 262. Um, and I think it's just because, you know, I still dip and dab in a Tootsie Roll. I know. And then, you know, it's Halloween. So, of course, I bought the Halloween candy. You guys know my downfall. Candy, cake, cookies, chips. But, you know, Dibupurin takes away those cravings that are so strong, you know, especially the chips and the cake and stuff. But, you know, okay, I do, you know, have a fallback when it comes to candy. And then, of course, I'm the one who does the Halloween stuff. So, I've tried to hide the candy, but I keep I keep digging into it. And, you know, of course, you sometimes you eat candy and you feel like, oh, man. And then, you know, I'm totally guilty, but then I do it again. And that and that's a part of, you know, uh, us, you know, that are, you know, kind of overweight. And, you know, when we eat things that we're not supposed to eat, it's like, you know, it's not good for you, but you do it anyway. Like smokers, you smoke and you know it's not good for you to do it anyway. But um, I'm trying. I'm trying to get rid of that Tootsie Roll. So, uh, the nutrition was last week, nutritionist was last week, but you guys know, I told her that, um, I've decided not to do the gastric bypass, um, not the bypass the sleeve because I think I'm doing okay on the, um, Olympic pen. Again, I told you guys before, I really don't have any, uh, I don't have any issues with it or anything like that. I did start the taking a um, Mego seven and that's only because I started doing the, um, JJ Smith, um, the, I gotta get it, the green smoothie, um, that she does. Um, I did start doing those because the, the protein shakes driving me nuts. You guys know that. And this is not a mess. I put all this stuff here just so I could show you the stuff that i be taking. First I started, you know, I start with this, the Atkins one and it's okay, but it's only like 12 or 15 grams in there protein. Um, so I decided to, you know, pick up this one, the Premier Protein. It has 30 um, grams in there. And I, I kind of like that one, but it's a little bit sweet. It's a little bit sweeter than the other one. But um, again, you know, the nutritionist, nutritionist told me, you know, just try to substitute, you know, because the milk, I can't stand the milk. So, you know, all the wee and everything has milk in it, but, you know, I have to tolerate it. So that's why I bought the Mego 7, and JJ had that in her book, so that's another reason why I got that. Um, this is the um, Isopure. They told us to get this because we're supposed to get used to it. But see, because I'm taking the Ozempic pen, I felt that, you know, I would still stay on what they want me to do for the gastric sleeve. Um, I'm coming down. I can tell I'm coming down because if you guys see some of those past videos of me, I don't know if I, if I just had a balloon or somebody just blew air into me, but I don't know where that came from. And then I see some other videos. If you guys notice the videos I take when I do the teams, when I do my class, you guys know I, I own Sapphire Physician Coding. Yep, I am the CEO and administrator. Get in on that school. They make my, I don't know, my pictures look ridiculous. I look horrible. But I'm working on a video. I'm telling you that last one with the GI. You guys got to forgive me. I don't want to delete it because I, I don't want to upload it again. I have no idea what it is. And you guys know I'm still learning YouTube. But uh, everything that they told me to do for the gastric sleeve, I've done. I've already lost to 27 pounds. You know, I'm still at 30. <clears throat> I'm still at a 30 pound loss. Um, but, you know, it'll come off gradually. And um, again, you know, I haven't added, you know, exercise, you know, like I'm supposed to, because you know, you guys know I say that all the time. I have started walking around more. Um, but you know, when you're working at home, it's, it's hard, you know, you don't get any exercise. I mean, you're literally sitting in the office all day. You're sitting at the desk all day and you're working on the computers and, um, you don't get up and do anything. I mean, I, I, I literally get up and go to the kitchen and get lunch, come back, go get, you know, dinner and, you know, come back. But I'm trying to change that. You guys know I went to the gym, um, last week or two weeks ago, but, um, 
I don't know. I don't know about that one. Like I said, you know, we have a bunch of stuff around here that I can use. But um, as far as, you know, the Ozempic pen, you know, I, I, what I'm doing is the same things that they told me to do for the gastric. Um, I, I'm doing the, I'm doing the green smoothies now because there's no milk in it. As far as I know, there's no milk in them. Um, this is, this is what I'm doing. Um, I do add apples to it. Uh, I bought this from Amazon. It has a little bit of a tinted pepperish taste. I think maybe I have some cinnamon or maybe they're putting pepper in here, but there's so many vegetables in this. And I thought this was awesome because I don't get enough of vegetables in. I don't, I don't get enough in. And, um, I do add apples to this. I add green apples to this. I add spinach to this. And I also add watermelon. It's amazing. You don't even taste it. <sighs> So that's what I do with that. And I keep it in here. And I, you guys know I have thousands of these things. I love this one because it shows me that it's green. It's I'm literally looking at that I'm drinking healthy. I don't know, y'all. I think it's a mind game. I don't know. But I'm 30. I don't know. Maybe 32. I was looking to be more than that by now. But I've only been on it for three months. And I'm okay with the 10 pounds a month. But uh, I got to lose 10 more pounds. I want to be down 10 again by Thanksgiving. Um, I, I, you know, like I said, I did cancel, um, the nutrition because I spoke to her and I told her that I decided not to get it because I've got to go back in house and I'm not going to have time to do it. And I'm going to be on six days a week. So it's a wrap. So again, those of you who are in my class, you, you guys can see that new syllabus. I did change the schedule because my schedule is getting ready to flip flop. So I did change it. So, uh, just look out for that. Another thing that I do take, I take hibiscus tea. A friend of mine um, mentioned a lot of herbs and stuff to me and my goddaughter, she gave me so many herbs and stuff and I still drink them. But this one, this is hibiscus tea in here. And and let me tell you, I like it in the glass jar. I don't know why. I'm thinking because when I pour it out in my glass, it's just crisp. I don't know. It tastes so sharp. And yeah, I put stevia in here because I don't like the bitter taste. It has a little bit of a bitter taste, but it kind of, it helps with the weight as well. But, you know, I try to do, you know, two cups a week or something like that. But, you know, this is hibiscus tea. No, this is not wine. This is hibiscus. And uh, the hibiscus tea, this is how I do it. You can make it hotter. You can make it cold. I put it in a container and I just sit it in the refrigerator and let it sit. I do put uh, lemon in it and a couple of other things. And, you know, that's the way I do it. And you guys know what this is. The eggs. Yes, I'm telling you, I see this thing going Dr. Now all the time. And, it, you know, it's in the book. You know, they give you a book uh, with stuff that you're supposed to do when you're getting your gastric sleep. And in my book, of course, the eggs is in there. Now, I do eat the eggs. Sometimes I eat them in place of the protein. But I put um, spinach in here. I put um, the um, green peppers in here. And that's kind of how I eat the eggs. Sometimes I might put onion or I might even put chicken in this thing. But um, that's kind of the basics of what's going on. Um, as you guys can see my stomach, I bought this thing to go over my stomach, um, J-Scope. So I'm going to start wearing that thing to start shaping in my stomach. But you guys know eventually I'm getting the stomach chopped off. Um, I'm just trying to wait till I get these 100 pounds down. Um and then I'm going to get the stomach done. Yes, some of you may not agree with that. I have a lot of you that do not agree with the Olympic pen. Some of you do not agree with the gastric sleeve or bypass XYZ. Uh, did I tell you guys my sister decided she's going to get her surgery again? Okay, so she's going to get hers again. But I've, I've decided that, you know, I'm just going to kind of stick with the uh, stick with the pen, you know, let's see what, you know, see if we can get 100 pounds down just on that. I mean, I'm seeing so many Golo commercials and I don't know. I don't know if it's real or not, but I can tell you one thing that was in big pen. It works. And, you know, they probably was upset with me, you know, when, maybe when I said, listen, I'm on this epic pen and uh, I don't think it's really necessary for me to get the surgery. Why? I mean, it, it, you know, it's not long term. It's not someone said, yeah, but it's okay. It's okay. I've I, I think I can train my body to stop making a glutton of myself. And it's not even that I eat a whole lot of food. It's the foods that I'm eating. The cake, the cookies, the candy. You guys know what I eat. Uh, so, you know, it's kind of tough for me, you know, in, in retrospect to that. Especially, you know, when the kids come and it's going to be Halloween. I think I ate three bags of candy last year, Halloween. 
so that, you know, that's my only downfall. But, you know, again, you know, I'm trying different stuff, you know. I'm still taking a buprenorphine. I'm taking a buprenorphine because the buprenorphine is amazing. I take it every other day. You know, it's not that I'm depressed or anything like that, but I don't care. Sometimes you still, you know, need to have that edge. Sometimes you need that to get that, uh, you know, those cravings away. And um, originally it's for, you know, uh, people with smoking, the stuff from smoking, things like that. But it also helps with weight. So um, my, my, I have two nutritionists. My other one, she's the one who has me on the pen and um, she's a doll. Um, Dr. Beyond, she, 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 she is a, she is a doll. And uh, she she doesn't want me to have the surgery. She's giving me everything in the world to make sure I don't have the surgery. But uh, I I can't have it now because I don't have time. And I'm 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 still doing the workup. And let me tell you, I'm still doing the workup because it might be down the line. I don't know, but that's the reason why I just continue to do the workup. And I told the nutritionist, you know, I I'll come back. I'll schedule back with her, but. You know, um, I kind of like the pen. And those of you who are thinking about taking a pen, you know, I to me, I think it's okay. I mean, this is real talk. Uh, this is not nothing you guys seen on TV and they're showing a small person, a skinny, skinny person. No, I'm not going to put it in my big pictures on. I probably will in the end because I saw one that I was, and I mean, from the top to bottom. And you know what I noticed on my thighs? I have like extra saline. I, it's just probably a bunch of fat that looks like saline, but... Um, you guys, I mean, I don't know if you're trying this. Some of you who are trying the Ozempic pain, let me know. I mean, again, you know, you guys know what my fear is. You know, when I go in two weeks to, you know, get my, uh, get my pen, I'm so afraid that it's not going to be there, you know? And, you know, she says, oh, two weeks, three weeks. Oh, we don't want to know when we're going to get in. Oh my God. Now I got to drive around and find this pen again. That's the only thing that I think I am totally, you know, in fear of you know, that they won't have the pen. Uh, and, you know, I'll eventually get it. So it's not like I won't get it. You know, I'll drive around and, and find it. But again, that's why I'm doing the stuff that they want me to do for the gastric sleeve because I'm training myself to stop eating all this stuff. I can tell you what, now I can't eat two and three pieces of chicken wing. I can eat one chicken wing and a little bit of something. Because I just can't eat anymore. Now, I don't know how, I don't know how that is happening. Why my thrust for food has diminished. Because there's points where I don't want to eat anything. If I think about food, it's sickening. If I, if I, if I think about, you know, the steak, it's, oh my God, you know. And I'm telling you, I made steak the other day because I needed that protein and I'm telling you, that steak was bad. Do you hear me? I, I had three bites. I couldn't eat it. And I made me a little bit of rice. I probably had this much of the rice. I was done. I ended up giving it to, you know, giving it to Remy. You know, that's the puppy. Yeah, she's my homegirl. She, she thinks I'm a puppy too. Because, uh, you know, we hang out all the time. But, um... I had to give it to Remy. I, I couldn't eat it. So now, you know, I, I just stick to my my six ounces or my three ounces. I do the chicken two ounces. I make sure I grill it or I put it in the, in the oven. Or I kind of like saute it on the stove. And I just eat that. Or, you know, I do the salad with, uh, I cut the salad up uh, with apples. I put the chicken in there and lettuce, you know, tomatoes, you know. I always put the apples in there. I don't know. I got that from McDonald's. You remember how McDonald's used to put the little apples in there when they do their little salad? I, I love that. But uh, again, you know, I have the yogurt in there. I can't stomach the yogurt. I bought the protein little griddles or whatever you call them to put on top of it. I can't eat it anymore. So, you know, again, you know, certain stuff, you know, I, in my mind, I'll be like, I want this, I want that, I want this. And then I go, I ain't that. I see stuff on TV, and now you know what I go? I change. I change. I see them burgers in them. Ooh. I see, you know, I see my guys on my on my Instagram. I'm not eating. They got million subscribers because, you know, they're cooks. And then I go, I ain't that. I see my girl on there, and she's doing the fried chicken. I'm not Look at that grease. I'm not eating that. And it's not, let me tell you, it's a mind thing. I'm telling you, I don't know, man. It's a mind thing. But listen, you guys hit me up and let me know, you know, let me know if I'm coming down, if I'm losing any weight, you know. Uh, I've lost, you know, about 32 pounds, but 
I can see it in my clothes are a little bigger, uh, but I have plenty of clothes that I never could even fit that I am getting into. But I really don't see much of the weight loss. But uh, you guys let me know. You know, let me know. Send me a message. Let me know how the weight is doing. And watch watch me go down. Watch me go down, hopefully. Um, but, you know, I'm going to be a lot more active um, starting next week. So uh, maybe it'll come off faster, you know, do more water, you know. And, of course, you know, I have tons of these little water. What do you call them? Bundles, bottles, whatever you call them. That's what we do. But, you know, when you get to my age, you know, at 54, you know, this is my turning point age before I get 55. I've got to be down. And I, I know, I know, you don't look 55, you're 50. We don't have to look it. We feel it, though. We feel it. We feel it. It's a lot different when you are a certain age. You don't look it, but you feel it. Uh, I don't even know how a person feels when they're 54. I don't even know. I just know that, you know, I, I got to come down 100 pounds. And I actually still have the same type of spunk energy that I did when I was younger. I just don't do any of that stuff. Um, but I'm pretty sure we'll be more active after, you know, we get that 100 pounds down. I don't know. Even if I get to 75, then, boy, I'll be so happy even if I get to 75. If you get me back to 215, shoot, I'll be satisfied with that. But I'm, I'm, I'm gunning for 196. 196, 190, 190, 196. So, uh, you know, this is my update. And um, I know you guys want to see, you know, how I look. Um, this is how I look. So, I do look at some of the other videos. I've been on YouTube for three years. Some of you don't know that. But um, now, you know, I'm kind of gearing more towards teaching my students and, um, you know, just putting the school out there, making it known. If you guys know anybody who wants to take a coding, uh, let me know. My school is generally geared towards coding. I just kind of threw medical billing in there. But I've got to get focused back on the coding for my girls uh, and guys. Uh, so, you know, that's why you guys see, you know, a lot of just a coding school on there. But, you know, I figure, you know, I share my weight journey with you guys. And, you know, some of you might be going through the same thing because you might be going through that. Should I get the gastric sleeve? Should I do the Ozempic? I, I, I started with doing both, but I, I wanted to do the Ozempic. I, 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 was, I didn't really think about it. My my nutritionist, uh, she, she came about it with me and I just... Hmm. And you guys, listen, I, do it. Uh, I did start with the acupuncture first. I put a picture on there with my acupuncture. Uh, I go every month and I stay under it for about an hour. And uh, she does both ears. And look that up. Look up the acupuncture for weight loss. It's certain pinpoints in your ear that they put them in. And I don't know, it triggers a mindset. And that's probably, that's probably it. You know, that helps me too. Uh, so I, I'm definitely not stopping that. I'm not stopping that. I'm not stopping the buprenorphine. I'm not stopping the Ozempic pan. Right, we're going to get this weight off. Um, a lot of people say, oh, you're not that big. Oh, you're not that big. Because it's you, the person, how you feel. I mean, I'm not depressed or anything as far as the weight. I just feel like, Lise, where are you? In there somewhere. You know, that's, you know, that's just how I feel, you know, you know. And my son, you know, my son is heavy into, you know, he eats good, you know. He does his exercise, goes to the gym, and, you know, he had me, like, on this uh, diet thing before. And I, I still do it. He thinks, I, you know, I just do, you know, nothing. But um, I do. I still try to do some things. I have weights in my truck. I got to get them out of there so I can start using those weights, too. But um, this is my update. Um uh, we're going to continue the Olympic pan. Let's see what happens. Um, let's just hope they don't run out of this pan. Uh, I'm still going to be uh, doing the things that I'm supposed to do for the gastric sleeve. But we I just told you I'm not doing the gastric sleeve because my skills will not permit it. And uh, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. The cutting. I don't know. I don't know. Because, again, you know, I had my gallbladder removed. So, you know, the, the surgeon, you know, he's a very well-known surgeon. I don't know if I put him on my YouTube or not, but he's a very prominent surgeon who's doing my surgery. Uh, I just, I don't know. I mean, he says, I was just like having, you know, having your gallbladder removed. And yeah, okay, because I already have the holes in there already, you know. But, 
We're not going on that story. Yeah, I drank something that my, my sister gave me, and then next 24 hours, I was in the operating room. So don't do that anymore. Somebody says, here, take this. You, you Don't take it. Don't don't take anything somebody else has given you. I learned my lesson. I'll never do it again. Um, so, you know, that's the update. And uh, you guys know what my fear, my fear is. They won't have the pen. But you know what? I can tell you this with the pen. The one milligram... <sighs> When I put it in, it's like, uh, the, the 0.25, the one, it's like, it hurts a little bit. But I guess because there's so much more going in, you know, I wouldn't suspect that she, she'd have to put me on two milligrams. But I can tell you this, guys, uh, the hibiscus takes down your blood pressure. And not that I ever had high blood pressure, but my blood pressure is amazing. Uh, when my mom, uh, my mother king passed a few months ago, I, I did have elevated blood pressure for a second because, you know, I knew, I knew that. And, and that was when, that was when I was at my peak. I was 291. Um, that's when, you know, I, I started to get serious about losing the weight. My A1 was up to 5.1. I'm doing pretty good now. My A1 is down, uh, to, I think it's 4.2 now. So, uh, you know, and that was another reason, you know, I had to get this weight off, you know, that's the purpose, you know, I have to make sure that I don't get the diabetes, uh, because we have that, you know, in our family, legitimately, you know, I have family members who just got kidneys and, and X, Y, Z. And, you know, I don't want that. I'm terrified of getting, uh, diabetes. You guys don't know. It's like, I, 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 I can't, I, I saw, I saw, you know, what my mother King went through. I, I can't, I can't. So that's why I said, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna lose this weight. And I saw that 5.1 on my A1, my, um, uh, significant other came with me and, uh, I was scared to death, and um, now I'm okay. I'm okay. I got it down. I got it down, and uh, we want to keep it down. So uh, let's get this 100 pounds off, and um, let's make sure that uh, we don't get it back and, and make sure that we don't get diabetes and uh, other health issues, high blood pressure, anything like that. And, you know, thank God for that. I don't have any of those things, uh, high blood pressure. Uh, my cholesterol was up. My cholesterol was up, and I was so surprised because I've never had high uh, cholesterol. Uh, some of you girls that are in the class with class with the coding, um, we have a class on uh, the cholesterol. We have a class for diabetes. We have a class for uh, aneurysms. Uh, all these different things are in the Sapphire School. Uh, but trust me, I was so scared, and I said, you know what? Oh my God, I'm. Uh, what if I don't wake up? What if I have an aneurysm in my sleep? Because yep. That was in my family too. My sister passed away just like that, boom, you know, and, and I was scared. So that's why I have to lose the weight for, you know, I have to lose the weight because I don't want any of those medical issues and I don't want to be scared and I don't want my children, you know, without me because it, it, it was very scary. So, of course, uh, I'm taking a pen uh, and I'm going to do everything in my power to stay healthy. So you guys roll with me. Let's see what's going to happen. Those of you who are my students and you looking at this video, don't take the pen because all of y'all are small. No. Okay. So don't pay me any attention. Okay. So I'm going to sign off now. I'm going to post this and uh, you guys take a look at it. Send me a message and um, we'll chit chat later. But, you know, I'm going to go ahead and get this green smoothie and get it in. And uh, I'm going to go by JJ Smith. I love her book. Um, she has amazing recipes in there that's going to help me um, with my weight. And because I'm not eating any food Um I won't say that. I'm eating food. I'm eating a little bit of food. Okay, so I'll see you guys next time. Let's see if this thing works and cuts this off. Bye-bye.